Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity connecting a wired and wireless. First of all, we will go through the objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, we will connect to the cloud, then we will connect to router 0, then connect to remaining devices, then we will verify connections and in part 5, finally we will examine the physical topology. Also, we will uh, go through this background. Uh, when working in Packet Tracer, a lab environment or a corporate setting, uh, you should know how to select the appropriate cable and how to properly connect devices. Exactly. So, this activity will examine device configurations in Packet Tracer, selecting the proper cable based on the configuration and connecting the devices. And this activity will also explore the physical view of the network in Packet Tracer. Now we will come to part 1. Connect to the cloud. Connect to the cloud to router 0. At the bottom left, click the orange lightning icon to open the available connections. Yes, here we can see that. Alright. Choose the correct cable to connect router 0, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 to cloud Ethernet 6. Cloud is a type of switch, so use a copper straight through connection. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Right, we will do this now. Now we are coming to the connection and here we can see the different connections. Here we are going to use copper straight through. We are going to click on that. Now coming to uh, router 0. We are going to select fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. And uh, to the cloud Ethernet 6. Yes, here we can see uh, this cable is now turned green. Now we will come to step 2. Connect the cloud to cable modem. Choose the correct cable to connect cloud coaxial 7 to modem port 0. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Right, we will do this connection now. Now we are going to connect uh, from this cloud to cable modem. And uh, here on this cloud, we are going to connect to coax 7. We are going to, yes, here is our coaxial connection. We are going to click that. Coming to cloud, coaxial 7 to cable modem port 0. Yes, now we can see this connection turn green. Now we will come to uh, part 2. Connect router 0. In that step 1, connect router 0 to router 1. Choose the correct cable to connect router 0, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to router 1, serial 0 slash 0. Use one of the available serial cables. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Right, we will uh, do this connection now. Here I am going to select a serial DCE connection. Coming to uh, router 0. Uh, here we are going to connect to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. To router 1, we are going to connect to serial 0 slash 0. Yes. Next is step 2. Connect router 0 to netaka.pka. Yes, yeah, so here is our router 0. We are going to connect from this device to netaka.pka. Right. Uh, choose the correct cable to connect router 0 fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface to netaka.pka fast Ethernet 0 interface. Right. Uh, routers and uh, computers traditionally use the same wires to transmit 1 and 2 and receive 3 and 6. The correct cable to choose consists of these crossed wires. Although many NICs can now autosense which wire is used to transmit and receive, Router0 and netaka.pka do not have autosensing NICs. So we must select uh, this uh, crossover cable uh, from the connections. Right. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Uh, we will come to the connection now. Coming to the connection, here we are going to select a copper crossover cable. And coming to router 0, here we are going to connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 
to this netacad.pk server first Ethernet zero. Right now we will come to uh, step three. Connect router zero to the configuration terminal. Yes, so we are going to connect to this uh, configuration terminal. Right, uh, choose the correct cable to connect router zero console to configuration terminal RS232. Yes, so this is only for uh, doing the uh, basic configurations of uh, any devices. So this cable does not provide network access exactly to configuration terminal but allows you to configure router zero through its terminal. Yes, this is only for configuring router zero device. So if you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn black. Right, uh, we will uh, come to this connection now. We will come uh, come to the connection. We here we will search for the console. Yes, here it is console. Here I am going to connect to this configuration terminal. We have RS232, and on uh, router zero we are going to connect to the console. Yes, here we can see now it's turned uh, black. Now we will come to part three. Connect remaining devices. In that step one, connect router one to switch. Choose the correct cable to connect router one fast Ethernet to one slash zero to switch fast Ethernet zero slash one. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Allow a few seconds for the light to transition from amber to green. So uh, maybe a couple of uh, seconds it will be in amber, then it will uh, turn to green. Right, we will uh, uh, do this connection now. Coming to the connection here, we are going to select yes fiber. Coming to router one here, we are going to select fast Ethernet one slash slash zero. Coming to switch, we are going to select fast Ethernet zero slash one. Right. So we have to wait for a uh, few seconds so that uh, this amber uh, will turn to green. Here we can see that. Yes, now we can see it uh, turned to green. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Connect cable modem to wireless router. Choose the correct cable to connect modem port 1 to wireless router internet port. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable will uh, turn green. Coming to the connection, here we are going to use copper straight through cable. Coming to a cable modem, we are going to connect to port to 1 and on wireless uh, router in, uh, internet. Here we are going to connect to internet, right. Now we will come to uh, step 3. Connect wireless router to fam uh, family PC. Yes, here we can see that family PC. Okay, choose the correct cable to connect wireless router Ethernet to 1. To family PC. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Coming to the connection, we are going to select copper straight through cable uh, on wireless router. Yes. Here we are going to select Ethernet 1 to this uh, family PC fast Ethernet 0. Yes. Right. Now we will come to uh, part 4. Verify connections in that step one test the connections from family PC to netacad.pka Open the family PC command prompt and ping netacad.pka Open the web browser and the web address HTTP colon double slash netacad.pka All right, we will uh, verify this now Coming to family PC desktop command prompt here. We are going to uh, pink right we are going to give the command pink we are going to give the name netacad dot pka yes we are getting the replay now we will go to uh, the web browser here and here we are going to give the URL 
netaka.pka yes we are getting the website now we will come to uh, step 2 ping the uh, switch from home pc open the home pc command prompt and uh, ping the switch ip address uh, of to verify the connection right so we have to get the ip address of uh, uh, switch uh, we will come to the addressing table and uh, here we can see the IP address of switch. Yes, here it is. I am going to copy that. Right, now we will come to home PC, command prompt and now we are going to ping to that. Switch IP address is here. Yes, we are waiting for the replay. Request timed out. request timed out yes so we got uh, your reply to reply we got and uh, two request timed out anyway we are uh, we are going to try once more so that we will get 100 percentage success yes now we will come to uh, step 3 open router 0 from configuration terminal open the terminal of configuration terminal and accept the default settings press enter to view the router zero command prompt type show ip interface brief to view interface uh, status right we will do this now we will come to configuration terminal to go to desktop here we are going to select a terminal okay yes now we are in router 0 we'll go to enable show ip interface brief and here we can see the details the interface details of router 0 <laughs> now we will come to part 5 examine the physical topology that step 1 examine the cloud Click the physical workspace tab or press shift plus P and uh, shift plus L to toggle between the logical and the physical workspaces. Click the home city icon, click the cloud icon, how many wires are connected to the switch in the blue rack. Right, we will uh, verify that. Now we will come to physical workspace. So now we are in a logical workspace. So we are going to click here. Yes, we are. Uh, now in physical workspace you have to click on this uh, home city and uh, here we can see uh, the cloud icon we are going to click on that yes here we can see uh, the blue rack and uh, two cables two wires are connected to this uh, uh, blue rack and uh, next is uh, click back to return to home city okay here we are going to click back can back right now we will come to uh, step 2 examine the primary network click the primary network icon hold the mouse pointer over the various cables what is located on the table to the right of the blue rack click back to return to home city right okay we are going to click on home city and here is a primary network yes here we can see okay number of cables here we can see right here we can see and here also we can see yes so here is our blue rack we are coming to the right, si right side of this blue rack yes here we can see configuration terminal yes now we will come back now we will come to uh, step 3 examine the secondary network click the secondary network icon hold the mouse pointer over the various cables why are there two orange cables connected to each device click back to return to home city all right coming to home city secondary network here we can see the connections right okay yes here we can see the fiber yes so obviously here we can see uh, two uh, connections fiber cable comes in pairs one for transmit and the other for a receive now we will come to uh, step 4 examine the home network uh, why is there an oval mesh covering the home network 
yes here we can see that oval uh, mesh covering so it represents the range of the wireless network now we will come to B click the home network icon why is there no rack to hold the equipment right here is our home uh, network I am going to click on that and here we cannot see uh, any rack to hold the equipment so it's obviously for a home network typically you do not have any racks and to finally click the logical workspace tab to return to the logical topology okay here we are going to click yes yes we completed this uh, packet tracer activity here we can see uh, completion status 80 out of 80 dear friends if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like my videos uh, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you